Welcome to More Sports TV. And this is a More Sports podcast. I'm sitting here with Joshua Roberts, a professional basketball player currently in Armenia. How are you doing today, Joshua? Doing good, bro. Live and well. Excited yeah. to this. I'm excited you got on this podcast for me. You know, nobody, everybody don't know how long it took us to do this. <laughs> <laughs> no, for real. <laughs> <laughs> well, I have, I, have, I have a couple of questions to ask you. You know, my first question would have to be, um, explain your basketball journey to everybody that may not know who you are and, and people that may know who you are and they're trying to, you know, get some that are interested in knowing your journey so far. It's a long journey, but um, I'm from North Star Chicago. I went to uh, high school at West um, at West Niles High School. Um, I went to five different colleges. You know, I started at Lewis University and then I finished at Roosevelt University. And it was a long, hard road, a lot of hard work. And, um, you know, I'm at a destination right now because of the hard work and the connections I made and the dedication and sacrifices as well. If you could explain, you say you went to five different colleges. Can you name all the colleges that you went to? Because five different colleges to get where you are right now. Like, <laughs> oh my gosh. Like <laughs> anybody yeah. that has to do that would have would have been given up, but you kept going. So explain Ooh. the whole process, the experience, you know, how was it like, you know, what you went through. Yeah, um, one of my college teammates um summed it up pretty well. Uh, Justin Shaw, you know, mm-hmm. went to a Cascaskill with me, Virginia College. He said, um, something that sums me up is perseverance. You know, perseverance is why I'm here right now and why I'm able to keep going forward. And the schools I went to, uh, I started at, I started off at uh, Division II, um, Lewis University. Um, you know, things didn't go as planned. And I decided to go to junior college um, for two years. I graduated that following year at Kaskaskia uh, with my associate's degree, and um, I actually had an offer to go to um, Chicago State that summer, mm-hmm. you know, probably go back to a four-year, but, you know, after talking to people, a few people, they advised me, so I'll probably do another year, because I'll probably get better offers and stuff like that, because um, I really have, like, a really good year at Kaskaskia, so they say, you know, I really maximize, you know, my next year during college, so I went to uh, California, Southwestern, um, San Diego, that was... That was a really great time. You know, that was um, had a lot of great memories out there. Um, but unfortunately, um, prior to me going out there, I actually got injured uh, at an open run in Chicago. Um, I had a I had a knee injury, I had a um, meniscus tear before I head out to school, so I had to get surgery down in California. Mm-hmm. And um, that really taught me, you know, how much I really love the game. Honestly, you know, um, because at that point, like you said, I could have quit. You know, but I didn't. And uh, if anything, it made me push even harder and motivate me to um, keep going forward because I seen how close I was, you know, seeing how close I was, like, you know, a lot of pros. Like, my coach was a professional athlete, um, Joel Jones, you know, played in Puerto Rico. Um, California was beautiful. You know, that was a dream come true and stuff. I always wanted to play California. And, you know, the love that they showed out there really propelled me to go even further. And when I stepped on that court, you know, they gave me opportunity to, you know, really work my way back up into rotation and stuff like that. And we wound up winning city, you know, San Diego. And, you know, unfortunately because of the injury, my recruitment was pretty much destroyed, but, you know, um, you know, I had people back home looking out for me, you know, um, shout out to coach Tank, you know, from uh, Robert Morris, you know, Al Brewer, you know, they remember me from, you know, my days at West House and I went back home and, you know, the rest is history. Explain you know, it, growing, growing up in Chicago, how was it like when you were in high school playing at Western House, you know, the whole competition you guys play with, the toughest player you play with, and the, and the mentors that impacted you the basketball-wise? Whew, man, uh, that was a different time, though, for real. That was a mm-hmm. different time because I came into high school in 2012 and I graduated in 2016. So, you know, during that time, we got people like Jabari Parker, Jalil Okafor, you know, um, even like, you know, guys who weren't really well, well known, like Elliot Cole, like Elliot Cole was like one of the top scorers in the, in the country during that time, man. Every night it was a battle, you know, especially the Red West, you know, during that time, the Red West, um, you know, was real solid. We was probably one of the best conferences in the country. And um, coming in, I was going up and down 
um, varsity and JV, mm-hmm. you know, um, but the competition was solid, you know, across the board. And, um, you know, especially out West, we didn't get no calls really from the refs. So, like, you know, you had to play tough, you know, tough me up. But I was used to it, you know, because I played a lot growing up on the playgrounds and stuff. Um, you know, I had, like, real old school flavor, you know what I mean? So, um, a lot of myself is grassroots. So, I was, I was always at the park. I was always at, you know, the YMCA, you know, on 63rd Street out, out south. And um, I really kind of built my character, you know, and tough me up and stuff. So, you know, I was built for it. And it helped me on my journey when, you know, adversity really did start hit when I got in college. Yeah, if you could explain your playing style to anybody out there, what would you explain? How would you describe your game? Um, I'll put it in video game terms. Um, mm-hmm. I'll probably say two-way shot creator, uh, playmaker. Um, and then my takeover would be spot-up shooter, you know, because, like, you know, I get going, I get in rhythm. You know, I really won't miss much. You know, I'm really efficient. Uh, I think I never even had, like, 20 shots in a game, but I still would probably, you know, my best games of my career, you know, I finished in, like, the 30, 30 plus range. You know, I think my career, high was, like, 36, you know, high school, but I never took more than 20 shots in my career. So um, playing smart, playing efficient is uh, how I go about the game. Playing hard, core deep, hard on those defense. Playing discipline and um, always looking for it. Always had a mindset to win and um, and being a team player. Yeah. Um, through your journey, you know, going from five different colleges and being in Armenia right now, you know, would you have any advice to any current basketball players out there? You know, that may have the same goals that you had. You know, telling them. How is it? How is it like? You know what they're gonna go through. How they can prepare for this kind of lifestyle? Because you know, I know it's different living in another country. You know, learning different languages, meeting new people. So if you can tell them, like, how is it like? You know. Yeah. Um. Before you get here, um, understand that your journey is your journey. Mm-hmm. You know, nobody can walk in your shoes. You know. Um. Sometimes, yeah, you do want a traditional path, you know, mm-hmm. you know, best player in high school, D1, you know, mm-hmm. woo, woo, woo. the NBA. But yeah. sometimes, but sometimes, you know, you got to walk your own path because you might block your own blessings, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So, um, you know, even with your development, you know, your development might not even be the same way. Yeah, you may be a late bloomer or maybe you no know, early bloomer. Mm-hmm. And you got to know how, you got to know how to navigate through that. And um, adversity is going to come for everybody. You got to learn how to deal with it and, um, you know, um, manage it because it's going to come. So when you do get here, when you do get to the, you know, overseas and stuff, um, I'm, you know, I've only been here for about a month now. So, like, you know, I'll give from what I've experienced so far. But, you know, um, the off-court game is just as on as the on-court game, how you take care of yourself, uh, how you treat people, language barriers. Mm-hmm. Uh, be open. To new things, you know, be open to new culture, be respectful, because, you know, a lot of times these people, they, you know, they really don't see black folks like that. All they may don't they know is, you know, what they see on TV. And sadly, you know, a lot of those things are really good, um, you know, views on us. So, you just want to always put your best foot forward and you know, give a good uh, representation of who we are and who you are and your family when you come out here and um have fun that's all i can say you know and grow don't ever get comfortable and um the playing style over there in europe you know how is it like is it fast pace slow pace medium pace like do they take a lot of shots you know go to the basket you know what how is it like over there well it depends what league you're in also depends mm-hmm. you know like what country everything mm-hmm. you know caliber of players the league i'm in you know, they rely heavily on their imports and, um, you know, like the American style players. So, like, it's, it's, it's like a lot of freedom. Um, So, you got to be ready to play, like, pretty much, like, 40 minutes. You got to be ready to um have condition up, shoot a lot of shots, you know, basically carry the team, be the man. But, you know, in, like, a top division, like, Euro League or, you know, Spain or something like that, it is a lot more, like, very team organized. I mean, not team organized, but team oriented. Mm-hmm. So, you got to make, like, 
three, four, five passes, like, you know, ain't much one-on-one, but the shot clock is like at five seconds or something like that. Mm-hmm. So you just got to learn to adapt to the game. You know, the best players, the you know, best players of all time, you know, they know how to adapt to any situation. You know, that goes back to adversity and stuff like that. Like, learn to adapt. And when you're, like, very fluid like that, you know, you're going to be fine, whatever you go. You know, it don't matter. You know, you play on Mars and you adapt to their game and still be cold. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> um, what are your future plans over there in Armenia? What do you want to get out of it, you know, as, as your time over there? You know, what do you want to develop in your game? You know, what do you want to do outside of the game? How do you want to market yourself? Because a lot of people may be watching this and trying to get input from your experience. So I'm trying to, yeah. So what would you try to, what are, you, what are your future plans? Well, my future plans, well, it might be pretty recent because <laughs> the games probably start coming up soon. But, um, you know, really um, probably develop more of my aggression. You know, um, really start having like those 20 plus shots in games and stuff like that. You know, I had a ball more in my hands, mm-hmm. you know, um. You know, learn how to, you know, get my make my teammates better, you know, get my assist numbers up, learn how to take over games more, be more aggressive, be more assertive, you know, off the court, you know, really, you know, you know, mature even more, you know, I'm already mature, but you know, what I mean? yeah. <laughs> you know, um, but um, yeah, you know, of course, win. I mean, that goes, that goes by saying, you know, um, of course, win. But um, when I leave here, I go back home, you know, I want to make sure that I'm so seasoned that, like, it's no question, you know, the caliber player I am, and I know that I really am. And, you know, um, I'm really blessed to be here, you know, considering what happened um, earlier this year. You know, I didn't mention that earlier in the interview, but um, at Roosevelt, Robert Morris merged with Roosevelt, yeah. by the way. Um, mm-hmm. You know, third game of the season, at Roosevelt, um, actually got a um, bone bruise in my left knee, mm-hmm. another knee injury. Um, it wasn't serious, but um, it was enough to like you know basically end my season because we already didn't have that many games and it's kind of rushed anyway. But in my in my college career, pretty much. <laughs> but um, you know, but you know, have situations like that, especially coming out of you know, in NAIA, you know, is really limited. But, you know, because of the work I did at Robert Morris and, you know, the people I met and also the work I put in, you know, you know, God opened an opportunity for me. So, you know, I'm just blessed to be here. And, um, you know, I had a good showing, you know, in a, in a preseason tournament and stuff like that. So I just want to build, keep building off that, off that momentum. And, um, yeah, I'm excited, though. You know, I'm really excited. I'm playing with a lot of high caliber players. And um, I plan on destroying them all. <laughs> If that's one of them. If there's one last thing, if there's one last thing you'd like to tell most sports TV, you know, what would it be? Um, man, keep doing what y'all doing in for the community. You know, um, teach these kids how to work hard, man. You know, get them off these phones, man, for real. Like, <laughs> like we, when we was growing up, we was not used to that. Like, mm-hmm. we was, you know, part of, like, Garcia Network and stuff and my parents say get off TV and go outside but now it's ridiculous like <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it is it's a, social, it's a social media word now so I think yeah so yeah a kids, lot of- gotta, um, kids gotta learn how to uh, really work on their craft you know uh, really perfect their craft because things not gonna come overnight you know um, if you really want something you know you gotta put in the work because mm-hmm. you know, no dreams ain't gonna happen by accident mm-hmm. you know no matter um what it is, no matter how many shortcuts you have, no, no plugs, whatever, or what people promise you at some point, you know, you got to be good enough. You got to be, mm-hmm. you got to, all the work you put in is going to surface. And you got to be prepared. The only way you get prepared is putting work in. Facts, facts. Well, um, I won't hold you for too long. You know, I know it's late over there, but it was nice having you on a podcast on the sixth episode. Um, hope to have you here on here again. You know, as we grow on a much better platform as well. So it was thanks for giving me the opportunity, Josh. What's that, bro? Yeah. <laughs> Retro out. Sir. <laughs>